What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while since the last video. Again, I apologize for the delay in videos, for the uh, amount of videos not being uploaded on this channel uh, recently. I've just been really focused over on TikTok, doing a lot of live streams and stuff over there. I just get a lot more engagement and stuff over there, but I, I'm still here. I'm still here on YouTube, and I'll be doing a live here shortly. I got some codes to give away, some uh, pickups to show you guys, and all that stuff. But if you guys aren't following me over there, definitely do so. I go live like three, four times a week, uh, and it's a lot of fun interacting with everyone, showing the collection, doing all that stuff. But uh, anyways, I'm not here to plug all that. I'm here to show what I've gotten in recently from Scream Factory. Uh, this stuff came in over the last few days. Just wanted to, I was hoping something else would arrive by now and have e even one more thing for this video and make like one big, you know, screen factory video. But it hasn't shown up yet, but I need to do this. I got um, my kids coming in uh, tomorrow and uh, spend a, a, a week with them. So I don't want to be um, bombarded with, uh, you know, having to make videos during that time. So, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do this video and uh, see what we got. As you guys know, um, or may not know, uh, Screen Factory has having their uh, Shocktober sale, so I did pick up a few titles from there, and I messed up and grabbed one of them before the sale started, and then that one became part of the sale. But whatever. Um, and then uh, a bundle here of a movie that I really really enjoy. So yeah, let's let's crack into this stuff. Let's start with the small package. Here, this is the one I ordered, uh, not even thinking about maybe they'll have a Shocktober sale and paid you know, full price for it, but uh, it is what it is, you know. Um, hope you guys are all doing well, by the way, and I really need to, I need to shave. I'm just, I've been lazy, okay, I've been, I've been do, doing a lot lately, so just, uh, yeah. But uh, again, I hope you guys are doing well, I hope you guys all have a great weekend and everything. And, uh, you know, it's almost Halloween, guys. Almost Halloween. It is Friday the 13th, too. That's awesome. We gotta, gotta rock the shirt, right? Um, American Gothic. Did pick up American Gothic. This one gets asked for, uh, quite often in my lives. And, uh, I didn't have it for some reason. And I needed to get it anyways. So, um, I have added, like, a crap load of, almost a thousand, not that many, but a crap load of titles to my wish list on Amazon. Uh, doing these not realizing how many movies that I, I need to add to the collection that are not just because they asked for them But because they are good movies, uh, and this is one of them right here American Gothic um, Again screwed up ordered it before the sale, but you know, what are you gonna do? All right I'm not gonna go through too much on these uh, as far as features and everything, but uh, Yeah, let's got that one. All right then we'll go with the titles I picked up during the Shocktober sale. Again, these are ones I've, I've been wanting to grab for a while. And um, a lot of the prices during their sales, you know, they're, they're, yeah, they're cheaper than usual. But a lot of them can be found for the same price or less on Amazon or, you know, I, I don't know. I, I try to stick to stuff that's like 12 bucks and under, you know, that's like actually a really good deal. And uh, that's what most of these are right here. I believe there's four things in here if I can get this open but uh yeah and wh what do you guys think about the news with the uh, best buy um not carrying physical media anymore that that came as a shock not not so much the in-store part I, I seen that one coming we all saw that one coming but uh the online sales though that's just wow that's crazy um because i do dig their exclusives you know their exclusive still books and stuff so that's kind of a kind of a bummer, and you know I, I do new release Tuesday videos for Best Buy. You know, I guess I ain't doing those no more. All right. Um. Anyways, um. You, you guys have probably all seen a million videos on that by now, so I'm not gonna go into it too much. We'll talk about it on the on the next live. Uh. This one I got this one in for review from I think 101 Films when they put that uh this out uh not too long ago and really enjoyed the hell out of this one and it was a really good price. Uh, I don't know if they have uh, the prices on anything here. Not that you guys care. No, they uh, did they? Did they put the price on the packing list? No, I don't think so. Anyways, it don't matter. They were they were cheap. Okay, uh, but that is the brain. Loved this one, and I I didn't have it in the collection. You know, I had a I had a screener copy. I, I needed the the regular one, so did pick that up. This movie's so much fun. You guys haven't seen it. It's it's pure freaking cheese pure 80s cheese um who was in this uh i don't remember but uh 
yeah, really, really fun movie. Check out the trailer. The, the cover doesn't do it justice, okay? It, it, this movie's so much damn fun, and highly recommend checking this one out. All right, this next one I did have on uh, DVD. I kept thinking I had it on Blu-ray, and I never picked up the Blu-ray. Uh, you got Robert England in here, a Stephen King story, and directed by Toby Hooper. You know what it is? That's right. It's The Mangler. The Mangler does not get nearly as much love and appreciation as it deserves. Love this movie, and uh, very happy to finally upgrade this one. This one's from 1995. All right, next one. Another one I, I keep thinking that I have, and, and I, I didn't. Um, didn't really saw uh, doing the live streams that I want this movie in my collection, and it needs to be in the collection. Half Man, Half Wolf, Total Terror, Bad Moon. Again, uh, I think this is another mid-90s. Yeah, 96. Wow, only 79 minutes, too. But uh, Bad Moon. Needed to uh, needed to add this one to the collection, definitely. And uh, very happy to have this. Um, I have not seen this in many, many years. So uh, excited to revisit that one. This one I have not seen. Surprised it came with a slip, too. I, I, I tried to make sure like none of these had slips. I guess I got four t uh, five titles. So all five titles came to 52 bucks with shipping, if that tells you how cheap these were. All right, uh, something like that, and uh, or maybe maybe that's or it was free shipping, so um, over 50 dollars. So uh, yeah, five titles for 50 something dollars. You you can't beat that for Screen Factories. But I wanted to make sure they never had slips like these. This is the only one I was like, shit. I think that might have had a slip upon release. And it did, but I got the slip. I've heard some pretty good things about this. You got Courtney Gaines, of course, Malachi from Children of the Corn. You got Daniel Harris, you know, I, I mean, it's, it's Daniel Harris. We don't know who she is, you know, Hatchet movies, Halloween movies, all that good stuff. A bunch of other movies, you know, Scream Queen. And uh, some other people in here as well. And this is uh, Camp Cold Brock. Um, I don't know much about it other than people saying it's pretty damn good. So definitely excited for this one. Again, very surprised it came with the slipcover. I don't know if there's any alternate artwork underneath. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like opening it right now. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for this one. Yeah, I can't, you can't beat that, you know, for, for these titles. I mean, there we go. There's my small Shocktober part of this video. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this video. You'll see by the thumbnail what I call it. Uh, set these. I don't know where to put them. Where do they, where, where do they want to go? We'll, we'll put them back in the box. How was that? No. Well, it wasn't five titles. Uh, it, see, I screwed up because American Gothic was in there. So four titles for 52 bucks. Which still, you know, isn't bad. Um, and then American Gothic was full price, unfortunately. Uh, okay. I, I was like, man, I got a really good deal. I mean, it was still a good deal, but not as good as I thought. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, guys. All right. Uh, now we'll do the big box here. Now... If this is what I think it is, didn't say. Um, I don't normally get the pens when they offer, like, you know, Screen Factory's been offering, like, 20 different versions of the bundle you can get. Just the movie, the movie with extra slips, movie with extra slips plus lobby cards, and then pen sets. I don't normally get the pen sets, you know, unless I really, really, really love the movie. Um, but this one here had a really cool design. So I passed on grabbing it at Best Buy and in, in store. They did have it, you know, upon release. I thought about it. I was like, you know what? I really want this pin set. Hopefully it's in good shape. I'm gonna hold off, you know, until I can get the one with the pin set. I know I'm a little late getting this. It's been out for a little bit, a um, few weeks. But uh probably already know. Oh, the and they bubble wrapped the pin set separately. That's awesome. So, the movie is My Bloody Valentine, the original. Love this movie. I actually really enjoy the remake, too. Um, tons of features on here. I, I don't know if there's anything new on the 4K. Uh, new restoration. Uh, looks like all the features are ported over, which is fine. And this thing is heavy, too. Uh, how many discs is this? I don't know. Uh, three disc. It's a three disc edition. Oh, it says it right on the side, three disc. <laughs> but uh, very happy to have the 4K of this. And again, I really wanted the pen set, which we'll get to here in a second. And I believe this came with like a prism sticker. There was an option to get it with like the lobby cards and stuff too for like an extra 70 bucks or something. I'm like, no, nah, I don't I don't need the lobby cards for $70. Uh, so yeah, didn't, didn't go that route. 
Man, they do not make it easy to open some of this shit, do they? I'm trying to keep you guys entertained while I struggle. Just, just, just imagine the uh, scene from Gladiator, right? Are you not entertained? I'm not. I'm not gonna say it like they did, because I can't. But uh, yeah, let's let's go with a let's go with a cutter on this. If I don't slice a limb here, uh, come on. I think this is stickers. It looks like a napkin. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. Come on. But yeah, I'm surprised they like specially bubble wrapped. You'll see here in a second the uh, pen set, which is extra protection i did email them on my slips from um the night of the demon set and i'm just like hey look you know I, I i'm not saying they're completely destroyed or anything but to put the stuff in there loose which this one was too but it's in good shape um you know just put it in a a, a, a baggie like you do the extra slips or something leave the slip cover off the movie and put it in a in a sleeve uh and we'll put it on ourselves i don't know just you know, we're, we're real dedicated collectors if we order directly from you guys. Just use some extra protection there. Which they did on the pin set, so apparently they listened to something. But uh, they made me send photos of the... Um, sorry, I'm struggling with this. Uh, uh, I guess I don't need the plastic script. Um, they made me send pictures of the other slips ripped in half really i mean i get it some people will sell them and stuff uh there's our prism sticker that i fought <laughs> like hell to get out of that package but really cool i usually keep these inside the blu-ray case or 4k case whatever uh with the movie uh, i like to keep everything together that comes together so that's cool uh i'll keep the uh little card thing there awesome love these little prism stickers all right now for the um piece of resistance uh before we do that there's the poster got the original artwork uh all right here is the pen set again awesome job screen factory i give you major props on this because you bubble wrap the pen set separately that's how you fucking package some shit okay that's how you do it um so stuff's not rattling around this everything came absolutely perfect and i am impressed that's how you keep your customers coming back that's that's how you do things okay that's how you run a business whoever did this using your head and uh i appreciate that all right because i was worried this thing was going to be banged up there is the my heart shaped box yeah that's just gorgeous love the back of it with the, the miner right there, Harry Warden. All right. Let's let's go ahead and open this sucker up, right? Because, I, I mean, I, I don't I don't really sell shit like this. Um, I'm not going to keep it sealed and sell it because I really wanted this pin set. I held out for, for the pin set. Um, let's open this up. Take a look at the pins inside. I never do anything with them. They're just kind of randomly spread out around the room on, on the pin sets. Let's open this sucker up. And this is kind of like a harder... Uh, shell on here too it's not it's not the flimsy cardboard uh, like some of the pin sets the early ones that I have all right come on I don't want to damage it opening it get out of there I can't open the box man all right got our styrofoam oh I love the pins they're beautiful there we go check that shit out you got the miner, you got the box of chocolates, you got, uh, well, the, the box of, with the heart. Okay, it's not chocolates. Don't eat it! All right. Um, you got the, just the My Bloody Valentine one, the axe, pickaxe, and then uh, Valentine Bluffs, uh, like a road sign type pin. Uh, so that's really cool. Awesome. This is probably my favorite pin set. Um, this and Army of Darkness, which unfortunately came damaged, but, uh, you know whatever um cool love it love it love it my only concern i thought about this after i ordered it is um it's probably not going to stand too well so i'm gonna have to like put it in between some shit right because uh, I, I i don't think it's gonna stand on its own and it doesn't want to go back on there there we go like it's probably yeah see it's it's not gonna stand on a point right so i'm gonna have to put it in between some shit i'll figure it out it doesn't matter it's cool i i, I dig it all right. 
All right, that's it, guys. That's all I got for you. We spent like 15 minutes together, and I'm so happy to see you guys. I missed you guys, and um, I'll be back on a live at some point, um, depending on what goes on through the week. We'll see if I get some time to squeeze in there, and uh, if not, it'll be the week after. Uh, but bright side is maybe I'll get more movies with codes to give to you guys, right? I mean, that's... All right, um, anything else? Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff we need to cover in the live stream. But, uh, oh, uh, Miramax won the bid to Halloween instead of A24, which was an interesting turn of events. Uh, I think Miramax had the rights before, if I'm not mistaken, for like H2O or something like that, right? Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, we'll, 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 we'll chat on the live. I'm going to get out of here. Peace, love, happiness, all of you as usual. And I will catch you next time. Later.